Hey, in today's video, let's go ahead and take a look at Ancloth in Maya and let's do something fun. Um, just for the sake of exercise, let's create like a classic cartoon uh, ghost, right? Just using Ancloth. So to uh, get that going, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to uh, go to my poly uh, modeling tab and grab a sphere and just drag a sphere right in the center. So something like that should work. All right. The other uh, object that I'm going to need is the sheet. So for that, I'm going to grab a plane. And again, from the center, just drag a plane uh, that is maybe something like this. Okay, so the other thing that I need to do is I'm going to go to my channel box. And for my plane, while the plane is selected, I'm going to add more subdivisions. So in my case, I'm just going to add 25. And the way I've done that is I selected both boxes and just typed in 25 uh, one time and pressed enter and that will change both the width and the height, okay? Uh, the other thing that I wanna do is I do uh, would like my uh, sheet to be centered on my grid. So I'm gonna go to my channel box and let's go ahead and zero this out. So make sure it's centered. All right, the uh, next thing is I'm gonna bring my sheet up above the sphere. So something like this. And also, let's go ahead and punch some uh, maybe eyes for, for our um, ghost, right? So I'm just gonna select a couple eyeballs and just press delete. Now, if I um, press, if I select my sheet and press three, you can see that um, the eyes are going to be uh, rounded up by default, right? Because we're using the smooth modifier to preview. If this is a game model, and um, you would like this to be uh, round, then you have to manually sculpt the round, right? You have to take these edges and just round them up. But for the sake of this exercise, I'm just gonna press three, and let's just assume that whatever we're doing is gonna stay um, in Maya, right? All right, so the next thing, uh, how do we drop this uh, sheet now down on the sphere? So to do this, I'm just gonna select the plane, go to my effects tab in uh, Maya, and then find something that says end cloth and then just simply select create end cloth. Okay. As soon as you select that, you can see in your outliner, there's going to be a few things that are being added end cloth and the nucleus uh, nucleus. Let's go ahead and click on nucleus. You can see that there's a bunch of settings here that you can play around with, but the one that I'm interested in is gravity. So I'm going to speed up my uh, simulation by just making this much, much larger, like 500 just so the sheet drops down really fast uh, down uh, with the gravity, okay? And you can play around and see what makes uh, sense on your uh, machine as far as the speed goes. The other thing that I would like to do is I'm gonna, so my plane is selected, I'm gonna put, click on presets and you have a bunch of uh, options here. So for the, the one that looks the best that I uh, think for, um, you know, for the ghost, um, you can try a few different ones, but I would like to try something that says t-shirt just so it feels more kind of like a cloth. You can try, of course, uh, silk and maybe uh, burlap, but I'm going to go with t-shirt and just do a replace. All right. So now if we choose uh, end cloth and go to a channel box, you can see there's a bunch of options here that you can control with our uh, shirt. Uh, preset, right? So one of them is going to be uh, stickiness. So I want, I would like to um, turn this up from zero to maybe something like a five. So just when the sheet drops down, it's not going to slide off the sphere. It's going to kind of uh, stick to it, right? And the uh, other thing, a thing that we could do is maybe change the damp value from 0.8 to maybe something like five as well. All right, so that takes care of the sheet. The other thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that the sphere is colliding with the sheet. So for that, I'm gonna select my sphere, go to end cloth and choose create passive collider. So I'm telling Maya, hey, use this sphere as the collider and use this as the end cloth. All right, um, the only other thing that I would like to do is I don't need to see my sphere. So I'm gonna press H to hide it. And let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we are on frame zero. Let's go ahead and, and um, rewind to the very beginning and just simply press play. 
all right you can see what is being what is happening the gravity kind of kicks in and the sheet just just uh, drops down and again I'm gonna select my sheet and press 3 to give give me a uh, smooth preview let's go ahead and relax it a, a little more all right so there you have it so now you have kind of a, a ghost looking uh, base that is is pretty good but we could uh, we could do better um, there's a couple things we could do for example we could um, modify our simulation by going to the uh, nucleus so we can change the gravity and you can see there's an ocean of different settings we can go to end cloth and again in the channel box there's also a huge list of things that we can try we can of course select our uh, material go to attribute editor and then try different presets as I was telling you before you could do that or if you are sort of happy with how this is looking you just need to change it just a little bit um, what you could do is you can just select it and simply uh, clear your history if you clear your history you're gonna exit out of the simulation mode alright so once you delete your history if you rewind and go back to the beginning you can see that the sheet is no longer being affected by the end cloth simulation right which means we can select our mesh and let's go ahead and also turn off the grid and maybe turn on our wireframe so we can see a little better and let's say I'm happy with this but I want to maybe this is a game asset and I want to sculpt it just a little more so now what I could do is I can select it I can go to sculpting grab my something like the this guy here pull a single vertex along a surface in any direction so now holding now the B key you can change the size of your brush and literally just sculpt um, what you would like to to see as far as what your ghost looks like so we can sculpt it up maybe we can you know bring this in a little more and of course we can also hold on the shift key and smooth this out any uh, parts of the model that maybe don't look as good as you want it to look so something like this is great let's go ahead and maybe push this in so just kind of a hand place the rest right you can smooth this out again so um, as far as I'm concerned this is pretty much perfect as far as the like the classic uh, ghost thing goes and now of course this is great because it's low poly we can animate it we can add a jiggle modifier we can um, link it again to another end cloth and maybe animate it in um, Maya so just a quick little demo of how powerful end cloth is and how um, you can get super creative to create uh, various shapes and you know think about like a tablecloth or or maybe like a cape or in this case a ghost all right so again thanks for watching and i'll see you in next video